cool. All right, we're working on, uh, working on your low back here, part three. Um, it may look like we're just, we are kind of leisurely just laying on, on the floor. Uh, but what we're working on right now is, is stretching our backside. So a lot of times when you have uh, low back dysfunction or low back t tightness, what we're actually confusing that for is tightness of your glutes or, or your hamstrings. Today, we're working specifically on your glutes. And you may have seen us do this, this pigeon stretch before. Uh, we like this pigeon stretch, but I will say what we're getting into here is a lot easier just to hold and maintain. So what you're going to do is, uh, depending on how, how stiff you are, you're going to get your butt as close to the wall as you can, okay? And then you're going to cross one leg over the other. From here, you'll notice my hips are off the floor. What I'm trying to do, and if you watch my hips, I'm trying to drop my hips down to the floor, and uh, we're going to try to do the same thing over here. Can you try and get your hips to the floor? If you try and get your hips to the floor, you're going to feel a little bit more intense stretch. So what I might do to start is back up a little bit. Now I can get my hips to the floor, no problem, but this is kind of boring. It's not really a stretch. So what would I do to change that? I'd slide myself a little closer to the wall and then I get right back into it. So you want to kind of find this little perfect place where you're driving this knee out, you're keeping your hips square to the world, and you're trying to sit your hips down, okay? If you want to throw your hands over your head, awesome. See if you can keep the small of your back on the ground as you're working this through. All we're trying to do today is spend five minutes on each side. This is a great thing to do while you're watching TV or hanging out, playing with the kids, reading a book. We're, we're not like terribly active in this stretch, but we are um, kind of playing around in and out. So what does it feel like if I go side to side? Okay, and I can slide a little closer to the wall. So this is part three of our low back fixes. We've worked on the hamstring. We've worked on the front of the hip. Now we're hitting, there's the camera. Now we're hitting the back of the hip, just playing around side to side. So what we're going to have you do is spend five minutes on each hip. See if you can slide a little closer to the wall. Maybe we go like super close to the wall, which would be like way too close. So this is too close. You see how I can't even possibly get my hips to the ground? If I bring my feet down lower, it makes it even worse. If I bring my feet up higher, I'm able to drop. So I'm gonna stay this close to the wall, but every maybe 30 seconds, I'm gonna bring my foot down just a little bit, just a little bit. We're just kind of stretching out. What we want you to do after five minutes is hop up uh, after doing five minutes on the one side and testing a squat, okay? You're gonna find, you're gonna have a lot more room inside that hip. And another thing that you can test is just bending over, touching the toes. You're gonna feel that there's a whole bunch more room there um, and, and your back might, might not be so tight. So part three in a three-part series on fixing, maybe not removing, but at least starting to think about your, your, your legs, your lower body is affecting your lower back. Okay, and not just having a necessarily a back problem. So spend five minutes on each hip today. It's kind of relaxing, is it not? not bad yeah, you just ha you're not really under stretch. Not re stretch. You're under stretch. You're not under stress. So spend five minutes on e on each leg. Retest by bending over, touching the toes, or just testing a squat. Uh, guaranteed to help improve your ability to remove or eliminate low back pain if we just spend a little bit of time on this each day. Sounds good? Cool. Thanks for being in 2020. We'll see you guys tomorrow.